How's it going? We're Inhaler, and this is Tower Records Recommended. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Gorillas Demon Days was the first one. Uh, because it's literally just the album I grew up with as a child. I was actually on my way down to Ackle uh, with my mum and she just pulled out this fresh CD. It was in the in the Back film. In the day. Yeah, yeah. Pulled it out and then popped it into the C D player and we just listened to it like I think three times <laughs> down. So we had our break in Strokes Down, continued on to Ackle, kept listening to it uh, and just fell in love with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Now my mum's been very mom. vocal like that. I have to appreciate her as a cool mum because like <laughs> She's put in too much work not to be appreciated for that. <laughs> <laughs> I went to see the Gorillas uh, a week before my leaving cert exam, or the one they started. And uh, Dead right. I remember when um, I think it's just uh, like "Don't Get Lost in Heaven," the second last track. Uh, just as it gets into the reggae dub bit, when I was listening to that at the gig, it was just the biggest vibe ever. It was like <laughs> one of the last songs, and everybody in the crowd was just none, no one was smoking. But everybody just became stoned. <laughs> and just literally, it was just my mum was there, my brother was there, we were all just hands in the air. It was unbelievable. So. Your whole family was stoned? No, everybody <laughs> in the crowd was stoned. We were just part of it. So. <laughs> it's weird, even as a kid, just hearing kids with guns, the way I, when I was a kid, I just thought it was just a bass. But listening to it again as an older, like more trained ear, you can hear that. It's like, a guitar, a bass, and something else layered. And it's just like, I think Danger Mouse produced the, tra or produced the album with Damon Albarn, and he also did like loads of Niles Barkley stuff. And that's all stuff I listened to as a young kid and kind of shaped my sonic like preferences and stuff like that. So yeah, you just, there. So it's just riddled with it, this album though, like loads of nuances and great sounds. So like, if I want to test myself and see if I can hear something new, I just li like listen to it, because you always find something different every time you listen. Number two. Uh, I have Leonard Cohen's last album, but arguably, I think, one of his most well done. Uh, you Want It Darker, uh, I think he must have been like 80-something when he, when he recorded it. You well, must he, know. Was, he was old enough. He was old enough anyway, but he sounds like, it sounds like a god speaking to you from heaven when you listen <laughs> to it. Uh, or hell, wherever he went. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's just a really, really incredible album, and I think the production on it. I think Leonard Cohen's often known for his lyrics, but uh, the music on this is pretty, pretty amazing, so. Oh, this is a recent discovery of mine. A mate of mine sh uh, told me about it, and I hadn't really listened to Leonard Cohen much, you know, I know all the big tunes, but um, he just said the production on it's amazing. It's like a Billy. I, I think Bill, this is where Billie Eilish got her thing, and I was like, Come on, no way. And listen to it, I think, I think he may be right, so I don't know if you're watching this, you're probably right about that. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really, really well done, and I think uh, for it being his last record, I think he might have known it was his last record as well, so it's, it's a powerful listen, yeah. Billy Eilish from Kindness. Yeah, yeah. He looks a bit like Billy Eilish. Yeah, he does, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he stole Billy's look. <laughs> Um, well, obviously, the, the title track you want a darker is great, but I think um, I think it's Traveling Light is the one uh, that I really love, and um, I don't know, just it just it, it, when you listen to it, it, it should make you feel sad because it's the tone is sad, but it, it, it's kind of an overwhelmingly positive message to it. Um, I mean, I guess if you were going out, you don't really want to be leaving on a sad note, do you? So. I think he must have left, left some happy breadcrumbs in there. But if um, you're going now, you don't really want to be listening to Leonard Cohen, either. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this next one is Parachutes by Coldplay. So up until recently, I wasn't the biggest Coldplay fan. I loved the bangers, but the tie-dye didn't do it for me. <laughs> and, the videos of, and the videos of the monkeys and stuff. I just, it was all a bit much. And then the lads were going on about how good the early Coldplay stuff was. So I gave it a shot, and um, I just really like this record. It's just got, once again, just really great songs, and they kind of just, it's just very like, I like the production, it's nothing, it's not very overproduced, um, and it kind of lets the instruments breathe a lot throughout the record, which I like. <laughs> 
Which you it's don't also, get. It seems to come out, I think it came out when I, the year I was born, which is a fun fact. 2000. It, it is crazy how big a scale band they are. You kind of forget that they're, they're massive. Mm. But um, that's kind of why I like this, because it's their debut and it, they, you can see them on the back. They're like, they don't look the same, that's for sure. It looks like they he has look an like afro. a bunch of young lads with an afro leaning over a bridge. Probably looks like <laughs> afro, right? I kind of like that. <laughs> Yeah, we do. We have Glastonbury is our, I think, our biggest goal. I think it's most bands, but also just, just to, to remain a band. Yes. And um, for as long as possible. Number two, I've got Shame, Songs of Praise. Um, they're a band from the UK. I think they're from London. Um, I remember we uh, heard about them first when we were about 18, when this record came out. Here they are holding pigs. Um, which is every band's dream, but um, yeah. So uh, we we heard about the um, the first one when, we when the song came out, and they're a punk band from the UK, and the, the songs are incredible. And I remember um, they played in Queens just when they had come out, and so we we went to see them, and we must have been the youngest people there. We were surrounded by like all these like you know old geezers with very little hair and leather jackets. <laughs> compared and to then, you, right? Uh, yeah, compared to me. <laughs> And then, um, and then about, you know, it was an incredible gig that we had gone to see and, and it was really exciting. And then they came back to play in the Tivoli Theatre before it shut down about six or seven months later. And they had Fontaine's DC and Murder Capital supporting them. And that was really exciting for us to go and see because all of a sudden we, we saw them playing to like 150 to 200 grown men to about 600 or 700 kids all that have caught on to this and all of a sudden there was more hair in the audience. <laughs> and, you know, it was, and th this album is great, you know, they're a really, really um, good band and this is how I got interested in them first. Oh, I don't know, I, I, I've always liked One Rizzler, that's like their big one, but Gold there's a song Hull. on here called Gold Hole, yeah, which is, um, I, I can't even recite these lyrics on camera, there's, there's, some, there's, some, there's some dirty business here. But, yeah. 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 But there's a song on here called Bell I think it's about them digging like, for gold, so it's all yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's go with that. But yeah, um, but, yeah I, I recommend this album really to anyone. It's like, it's exciting, it's loud, it's fast, you know, it's not something to give to the grandparents at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and, and the, the sticker on here kind of like sums it up perfectly is Granny Post Punk with a whiff of menace. But it, that is not that dark an album, it's pretty fun. Nando's. Nando's is not like look at us, there's not nothing too menacing about us, I don't think. <laughs> 